good morning from us. So it is 10 to 6 in the morning. Pretty early and it's pretty damn cold. It was minus, what, 12 when we were driving 12. along here? Yeah. Uh, but we're up early this morning and Ingemar is taking me to the airport because I'm heading over to Frankfurt for a friend's reunion um, of everyone that I was or <laughs> was friends with in India, lived with, worked with, whatever in India, and I'm obviously still friends with them. So I'm going over for a couple of days for some fun with them, but it's the first time that I, well, first time in ages that I've traveled on my own, but the first time that I'll be leaving Mia for a good few days, and I am having to be really brave. Last night, I just couldn't sleep. I literally just wanted to stand over her, um, because mommy is gonna be upset. Yeah, so I'm having to be brave. We're about to pull off at the airport and say goodbye to both of these people. Yep, the little cutie. Oh. Hi little monster. We're at the airport. Um, we just dropped Miss Sonia off. Me and Mia are going back home. Hopefully Mia will fall asleep. Uh, this is the coldest day of the year. I've never seen double digit negative temperature in Reykjavik before. Minus 12. The next four days are gonna be me and Mia. I thought I'd start with a Christmas wall. <laughs> So I'm at the airport now, I'm all checked in. I have said bye to Ingmar and Mia. I managed to do it without crying. I was very brave. Um, but yes, even downstairs, it's so busy. I am now heading to my gate, passing the Blue Lagoon sign right here. No, it's too bright, it's not showing you. So now I feel like I've lost something because I'm not looking after a baby and carrying snacks and change bags and all sorts of things. Um, but yeah, it's just me. So I can do things like go through duty free, put on a full face and makeup, um, and try out different perfumes and just enjoy this. So I'm on board now and I just thought I'd show you. There's enough room for them. <laughs> Ingmar had just sent me a picture now. They're having breakfast together. Oh, I miss them. This has been breakfast with Mia and Daddy. I hope you are enjoying your breakfast because we certainly did. <laughs> We're definitely not in Iceland anymore. I also don't know really where I'm going and what I'm doing. I've just landed in Frankfurt and now I'm trying to find my way to the S-Bahn, the right one for the station that I'm meeting everyone at probably already lost. I think I'm in the right direction, but it's a bit confusing. It's kind of sad when the first thing that you get excited about when you go abroad or just outside of Iceland is a supermarket. And this is food for just two days, actually. So this is pretty much what we bought so far. <laughs> there's some water, there's a lot of beer, and there's a couple of bottles of Mia wine. This is status update on day one. It's five o'clock. I am preparing dinner. Someone has had a bit of snacks, grand snacks. She loved them, but they're also a bit messy for her. And then I have the teenager here playing something his mom loves to see him play. It's a very friendly game of Sims, not Battlefield, not Battlefield at all. <coughs> so 
Pizza mm, mm. Pizza is getting ready. It's, it's, it's dinner. And I'm still alive. Oh, yeah.